What's going on YouTube? Welcome back here at the channel King CCG and today I'm coming at you with a brand new opening. On its release date we have Quarter Century Bonanza aka Rarity Collection 3. So guys I'm very very hyped for this. As always we got the crazy cool rarities like the Ultimates, the QCRs, the Platinum Secrets. So also a lot of cool reprints in here. We got SP Little Knight, didn't expect that one to be in the set, but it is. We got Bonfire, we got Trust, we got the Promethean Princess. All these insane cards are in this set, so I can't wait to open this one up. Before I start with this opening, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this one. And check out the Instagram page, KingCCG Loba Yu Gi Oh! I'll put the link in the description down below. So, guys. Now let's dive straight on into this. We got 24 packs per box and 5 cards per pack. So as I said, the name is Quarter Century Bonanza, but it's in fact just Rarity Collection 3. Even the, uh, even the set number or the set code is RA03, so... In fact, it's just Rarity Collection 3. And there are also some great nostalgic reprints in here. Very cool to see those in, a, in such a rarity bump. Oh. Right, we started with the left side of the box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. There we go. Let's see what we can pull. Normally, like my goal is to pull the highest rarity card in a set, like the QCRs, but that's not a goal on itself in this opening because we are gonna see a bunch of them. We have Destiny Hero Malicious, got the Secret Rare Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sec. Oh, look at this one. This is the Platinum Secret. You immediately see the difference, of course, about these two rarities. Really cool. We have the Drill Warrior Trap Trick and Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. So... Literally like a few months ago I bought SP Little Knight for around 90 euros and I was just reprinted in this but that's Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I could have expected that so we got Red Eyes inside. Oh nice we got a QCR Fire King Island. Oh that's absolutely insane. Very strong archetype because it's used in the Snake Eye archetype. No I'm sorry in the... Um, Fire King archetype. Really, really cool. Looks beautiful. Wow. Another Platinum Secret with Ultimate Offering. These look absolutely insane. We got Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. And we got a Secret Six Samurai Hatsume. Like these six Samurais are absolutely fire right now they received amazing support so absolutely insane really cool to see such a nostalgic almost ancient archetype brought back to life with a few reprints uh, I mean a few support cards can't wait to have some duels again against some six samurai players we have house dragon mate ritual beast Tema Elder. Nice, we got the trade in as a QCR. Really cool to play this one in the Blue Eyes decks. Another Fire King Island, but now as an ultimate. Or as a uh, collector's. Really, really cool. And we got a Crystal Shark. Alright, let me just 
set these cards on rarity. I just like to be organized. <laughs> oh, nice. Snake Eyes Flameberg Dragon. Absolutely insane. Very powerful card for the archetype. We got Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. I played this one in, uh, in one of my side decks. Level 6 or higher, special symbol monsters on the field cannot declare attacks, nor can play activate their effects. Oh, look at this morphing jar. As I said guys, a lot of um, nostalgia cards in here with an amazing rarity bump. And morphing jar is one of them. Really cool card. We got area, the water charmer, and we got dark beckoning beast. For the uh, sacred beast strategy. We have Asian Gear Howitzer. We got Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. We have United We Stand. Dragon Mate Lawpaw. And we have a Super Poly. All right. Super Poly is an absolutely amazing card, really powerful. So I really hope to see, like, I have four cards that I really want to pull. That's Promethean Princess, Bonfire, um, SP Little Knight and Triple Tactic Trust. So I hope to see copies of those cards being pulled in this opening. That would be absolutely amazing. We got Monster Reborn. Oh, nice polymerization, but look at this beautiful artwork with the heroes. Wow. I can't remember seeing this artwork of polymerization, but it looks absolutely fabulous. Especially in this, <laughs> in this rarity. S Starlight Road. Hey, there he is. SP Little Knight in an ultimate rare. Absolutely insane. As I said, bought this one for 90 euros. It's I don't know how much it is right now, but maybe 5 euros, something like that. But it's cool. Now it's affordable for more players. SP Little Knight, absolutely beautiful. And we got the Atlantean Dragoons. All right. We got Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, Sign Up Mining. Can't remember playing this one in my Mad Mac deck. Pretty strong. We got Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus. Beautiful. Fire King Island again. Play set of that right now. And uh, Nept Abyss, the Atlantean Prince. Beautiful. So the Promethean Princess, Trust and Bonfire are still on the list. We got Danger Bigfoot, Swap Frog. Oh! <laughs> wow, seeing this car being pulled will never be boring. And look at this absolutely insane rarity. The Platinum Secret Rare on a Summon Skull. This looks absolutely fire. Pulling a Summon Skull will never be boring. Look at this. Looks absolutely insane. We got Ballista and Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. I'm just such a big fan of these rarity collections. We have Protoss, Dragon Ruler of the Waterfalls. Hey, Palladium Oracle um, Mahat. I believe this one is being played in the anime as well. We got Deep Sea Diva as an Ultra and we got Salamangrate Circle as an Ultra as well. Um, I think something went wrong here because where are my QCRs? Hello, QCRs. 
Yep, there they are. <laughs> I would say I already pulled two. Hopefully more will follow. Rivalry of Warlords. We've got Revealer of Ice Barrier. We got Miracle Contact. We got Ostinato. And we have Redux Dragon Ruler of Baldur's. Alright, I think it's time for another QCR right now. Or one of the three cards I mentioned. So let's see. We got six Samurai United. Beautiful. Oh, we got Mermail Abyssius. Absolutely beautiful card. I played against the Mermail deck um, like a couple of days ago. And I didn't stand a chance with my uh, with my Trimed deck. It was absolutely very, very strong. Didn't expect it to be that strong. So really cool and really strong deck. We got a Cyber Dragon. Beautiful. Love this, uh, this artwork. Branded opening. And we got a Super Dreadnought. Real Cannon Juggernaut. So guys, we got one pack left from the left side of the box. So let's see what we can get. We got a circle. We got saloon. Oh, Icarus attack. Also an older card. Really cool. I used to play this in Blackwing. Uh, we got Tidal Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls and a Punishment Dragon. Also really cool alternative art. Amazing. So I guess that was it for the left side of the box. But I'm very happy we still got the right side. Because I still need some cards. I need Trust, I need Bonfire. I need a Promethean Princess. So if you enjoyed this opening so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It will be absolutely amazing. We are over 500 subscribers, so very grateful for that. And also check out the Instagram page Kings TCG Loba Yu-Gi-Oh! Link is in the description down below. So we got one for one. Also a different artwork. Really cool. Laundry Dragon Mate. Hey, we got Mausoleum of the Emperor. Isn't this a um, Gravekeeper card? I'm not sure. We got Allure of Darkness and Nemesis Flag. Another Viking Island, alright. We got Secret Six Samurai Kizaru. Beautiful. <laughs> Eradicator Epidemic Virus. I can remember someone winning with this card on, uh, I believe it was a YCS, something like that. Really cool. Ghosts and Spooky Dogwood in a uh, collector's rare. Polymerization. And that's it. Mm, yep. We got Grave of the Super Asian Organism, Thunder Dragon Dog, beautiful. We have Card of Safe Return. When a monster is special summoned from your grave, you can draw one card. Cool. We got Stri uh, Sky Striker Ace Shizuku, and we have an Armageddon Knight. Alright, I really hope to pull all four cards that I wanted, but it doesn't seem to happen. We have Lopa. Oh, this one looks nice. In a QCR, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Really nice. We got Vampire Lord. We got Wind the Wind Channeler. And we have a Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell.
Nemesis Flag, Arch Nemesis Protoss, we got Necros of Valkyrus, Danger Bigfoot as a collector's rare, Laundry Dragon Mate as a collector's rare as well. Alright. Nice rarity pack. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Because, like, some people are a huge fan of these rarity collections, like myself. I mean, it's never boring to, like, open up packs. And you have such a high chance of pulling QCRs, ultimates, etc. There are also people who say, like, it decreases the value of the original uh like ultimates etc so let me know in the comments what you think i really love this set i'm not gonna lie we got win we have trap trick <laughs> okay we got cassius the shadow monarch beautiful heat wave as an ultimate and nemesis flag as a Collector's rare. Beautiful. So will we see the bonfire, the trust? I hope we did. We have a set rotation. Oh nice. Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. <laughs> Hero Neos Aquas. Uh, Alouius, I'm sorry. We have Skaberta, the Melodious Maestra, Mistra, and totally awesome. Right, we got one, two, three, four, five booster, uh, booster packs to go. Heat wave, SP Little Knight. All right, I definitely take that. Definitely take that. Looks absolutely insane in this. Platinum Secret Rare. So beautiful. Gear Town. Polymerization. And Rivalry of Warlords. So we pull, pull two SP Little Knights. Beautiful. Armageddon Knight. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! We have Blue Ice Ultimate Dragon in QCR. And that's what I mean, guys. How can this be boring, annoying, whatever? Just pulling a Blue Ice Ultimate Dragon, like, insane card. So many great memories in a QCR. So insane. We have Swap Frog and we have Thunder Dragon Dark. It's really cool. How they mixed it in this Bonanza set with like the old school cards, new school cards. We have Dragon Ruler of Infernos. We have Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. Cyberjar, okay. Murmel, Abystius, and a Monster Reborn. Yes, we pulled her. Promethean Princess, Beast of Flames. Absolutely beautiful. Really wanted her. Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. Talking about Storm, we pull Heavy Storm. Destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Now I'm thinking, like, what's the difference between this card and Harpy's Feather Duster? Oh... Never mind, Heavy Storm also destroys your own cars, of course. We got Ruler of Waterfalls and Nemesis Corridor. Alright, guys, we are on to our last booster pack of this opening. It was an amazing opening. We pulled two little knights. We pulled Promethean Beast Sour Flames. Let's see if we can end off with a banger. We have Ostinato, Fable Lurry, also nice. Dandy Lion. Dark, the Dark Charmer, 
and we have Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack. So guys, that was it for this opening. I don't know where to start. I mean, amazing cards being pulled. Really, really great mix of nostalgic also cards and more newer recent cards. We pulled two Little Knights, so absolutely insane. And of course the QCRs, like the best rarity. We got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood, Mermail Abysteus, got trade in and we got the fire king island so beautiful cards really happy with it so guys thank you all so much for watching as i said don't forget to like comment subscribe it would be absolutely amazing and would help out the channel a lot um and check out the instagram page kings tcg loba Yu-Gi-Oh. i'll put the link in the description down below thank you all and as you all know it join the gang ciao